Walk around family, welcome back to another video. Today we have a 2024 Honda Ridgeline Black Edition and Platinum White Pearl. Honda refreshed the Ridgeline uh, for 24 and there's some outside and inside uh, changes you may or you may not like. Now Black Edition is fully loaded. Right below this you have the uh, trail sport which replaced the RTLE. Below that you have an RTL and for your base model you have the sport so the lineup has changed for the original line for 24. so on the black edition first thing to notice is everything's blacked out from the previous black edition it was an rtle that was blacked out and that's still the case in this guy but now the black edition get a little bit more featured so we're going to start off with the front fascia of the ridge line and you're going to see led projector headlights your high beams are traditional bulb your daytime running lights are led you see it strobing in the camera your turn signals are regular bulbs and you do have LED fog lights. Right above the headlights, you have a gloss black going around the whole grill. The grill design is different as well and the design is different based on what trim level you get as well. So like if you look at a, a trail sport, complete different grill than the black edition. So everything's all blacked out. You do have your big emblem up front showing that you have your adaptive cruise control. So the radar is behind the H. Black edition lets you know you don't have a regular ridge line. You got a black edition ridge line. You got fully loaded. On the lower portion of the bumper, flat black, a little bit more gloss black down here. And you do have some air curtains on the side. And I don't think these are functional. Yeah, these some fake vents right here, not functional. But this portion over here is functional. Get some parking sensors because you do have uh, front and back sensors as well. So you still have that flat grill that Honda changed in the last refresh on the the ridge line you still have the power bulge hood you still have the more aggressive fender and the more aggressive bumper but coming along to the windshield same windshield as 23 camera is the same camera as the previous ridge line it doesn't have the newer wider camera that's like on the civic and crv and everything else just take a look at the side profile here same dimension as 23 same chassis they just sprinkle some differences everything's blacked out in the black edition so around the windows all blacked out on the A pillars and actually B pillars is gloss black, the A pillar body colored of course, and then you have the rear pillar back here that's flat black. And on the side mirror, the whole mirror is gloss black, not like the top portion is gloss and then the bottom is flat. Holding is gloss, LED turn signals integrated on the side mirrors, door handles are body colored, and the platinum white pearl. So if you know Honda, you already know about this paint and look how beautiful this paint is in the sun. Black Edition have its own wheel, so you get the more rugged tires and you get the gloss black rims with the black lug nuts. This one does have a protection package on it, so you have the splash guards, wheel locks, and another item I'll see when we get on the inside. The tires are 245, 60, 18. And if you get a Trail Sport, I believe it's a different color, RTL, different color, and Sport also have different colors. So each trim level have its own design. Like the grill is different on each trim level, the wheel will be different too. Coming on to the rear, first thing you notice is the big ridge line spelled on the tailgate. So that's new for 24, and that's a dead giveaway if you have a 24 versus a 23. Still have your uh, bumper design as 23, dual exhaust, that's all still the same. All ridge lines will come with a towing package. So you have the hitch and your wiring as well. And this can tow up to 5,000 pounds. And all ridge lines are all wheel drive as well you have a shark fin style antenna that's body colored and right above the window gloss black you have a little window spoiler third brake light up there look like it's led power opening uh, glass on the black edition the bed is already lined as well on all trim levels and the ridge line come in one bed size and one cabin size there's no other option so one configuration on the tail lights you can see regular bulbs no led at all you can see the bulb and for your reverse light, regular bulb as well. So no LED back here. On the license plate lighting, also traditional bulbs, no LED at all. Now the Ridge Line does have a dual um, opening hinge tailgate. So you can open it two different ways. So if you pull the handle, you can open it sideways like that. That way you don't have to climb over the tailgate to get into the bed. You can just come in here and access it or you can close it pull the handle here and open it like a traditional truck um, it doesn't uh, soft opening there's no power opening or anything like that when you open it it will drop down if you just take your hand 
off of it as well. So I'm gonna close this back up and show you guys the embed trunk because it's another reason why you might like the ridge line. And it is lockable as well too. And you can lock it with the key or you can lock it with the key fob. And you open it up, you can see there's plenty of space in here. So part of the protection package that this one have is the cargo, the embed cargo tray, the wood locks and the splash guards. Spare tire is there. We got your jack, some of your tools. Pretty much you screw, screw that off and you screw that off and it slides right out to get the spare tire. But look how deep it is. Super deep in the bed and you can see it's lined as well. So you can hide all your goodies. And I believe there's a drain plug in here as well. Yeah, it's a drain plug. So if you want to clean it out, wash it all out or tailgate or whatever you want, you can as well. Now the 23 Black Edition and RTLEs used to have speakers in the bed. Honda got rid of that for 2024. I don't think most people even use that or remember they even had it, but the in-bed speaker system that's that's gone for 24. Your bed lighting is LED. Your two lighting there, you got some tie downs there, tie down there. And the arch for the for the wheel, the wheel arch, there we go. Very small, very minimal, so you can fit more stuff back here, which is nice. And you have this little cubby here. So I know how to open it there we go and you have a household outlet in here as well and it's 115 volts 150 watt max so super nice close that back up and if you get a lower trim i don't know if the trail sport will have the plug i think it's only in the the black edition the tr i have to double check on the trail sport but if you don't get a model with the plug then it just be storage like how it is right now so i'm gonna go ahead and close this guy up on the lower portion of the bumper parking sensors because you do get that standard on the trail sport and now the ridge line looks more truck like honda purposely don't make this to be like a tacoma or colorado or frontier um they know that whoever buying this wants a pretty much a truck with a bed but something comfortable something smooth and that's where the ridge line kind of falls into place but now the ridge line just looks a little bit more handsome here's the key for 24 ridge lines now this is the same key from before um this doesn't get the new key like the crv the civic hrv everything else has pretty much the passport and the ridge line still get the older honda key but i'm assuming once they redesign this generation it will get a newer key as well so you have lock you have unlock you have remote start built in on the fob you have your panic button and you do have a switch to take out the emergency key in the fob and you have driver one because you have memory seats now, if the key's in your pocket, you have this little button right here, lock all the doors, and to unlock, you put your hand in there, it'll unlock for you. By default, it'll only unlock the driver door, and if you put your hand in the passenger door, it'll unlock all four doors, but you can go in settings and I can change it where the driver door unlocks all the doors as well. So we'll start off with the door card over here. So soft touch up here, soft touch there, armrest, soft touch. You do have auto up down for the driver and passenger window, hold it for the rear, power locks and i'm surprised this is not blacked out but it's chrome for the door handle two position memory seats only on the driver door and that's why you have the number in the back because you can save your seat to a key and save your settings on the screen to a key so when you unlock it it goes to how you last had it you have some storage under here a little more storage there you can pop the the gas tank there so it doesn't have the the newer gas tank on the honda where you you push it and open the door you still have a button to pop your gas tank and you have some more storage down here, a little speaker down there. And blind spot monitoring is standard on Black Edition, but it's on the inside of the door, not on the outside on the side mirrors. Taking a look at the interior, if you like black with this dark red, then you're gonna love the interior of the Black Edition because it's the only color. If you want a different color interior, you have to get an RTL or a Sport because I think a Trail Sport only comes in one color too. So not too many interior options, but the Black Edition has the red stitching perforated and this is red it's like a very very dark red but this middle portion of it, you can see on the camera right there it's red outside is black and you do have power adjustments so on the driver's side you do have up down for kind of like tilt the seat up and down forward and back you can move the seat up and down you can move that back up and down and you have two position uh, lumbar in and out on the passenger side you have forward and back and you can move this back piece forward and back and that's it there's no up and down you can't forget the black edition embroidered into the seat as well. And we're gonna jump in here, see some differences from the previous ridge line. So a good step in, cause you do have some decent ground clearance as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and close the door. So you can see the new 
infotainment screen, not infot the driver screen, I'm about to say infotainment screen. So this is the same driver screen that's in almost everything right now. So foot on brakes, let me turn it on, get the air going on in here. The Civic, the Accord, the CRV, the Pilot, um, almost all of our Hondas have this half digital, half analog display. So the right side will always be a speedometer, left side is customizable, and you also have a digital speedometer in the middle. But let's start on the left side of the, the steering wheel over here. You do have an air vent here, open and close, some, some gloss piano black right there. And you do have power folding mirrors. So that's what this button right here do, fold your mirrors in. But unlike the Pilot, when you lock the ridge line, it won't automatically fold the mirrors unless there's a setting for that. But I don't think it has that feature because the passport is the same way, but you can fold the mirrors, which is nice. You have the Econ Assist button there, which you turn that on and it's gonna maximize fuel efficiency for you. So your gas pedal takes a little bit longer to get up to speed. Um, the air goes down just a little bit because you're trying to save the best on gas. You can leave it on, leave it off, kind of up to you. You have your parking sensors on and off back uh, down here. And this is our older Honda layout because on the newer Hondas, all of these features are, I guess, put, being put on the screen, but Honda still has it on this guy. You have your traction control on and off. You have your cargo light for the bed on and off. You could turn on the, the power outlet that's in the bed on and off back here. You have your road departure on and off there, front to collision braking on and off, and your uh, de-icer zone. So you turn this, this feature on and it'll warm up the bottom of the windshield to free your wipers if it's really cold outside, which is a nice feature. You still have a manual emergency brake too. So not, unlike the Pilot where there's a button, you have to engage and disengage. And then down here you have the hood and that's pretty much it. Now come along to the steering wheel. So you have the newer steering wheel that's like the Passport and the Pilot. So it's a different design, it's a little bit more modern look. Compared to the 23 though, this uh, portion here is completely different. So you have your next track previous there, you have volume there, you have your home button, and now you have the new updated scroll wheel that all of our Hondas have now, voice command. Behind the steering wheel, you have off, auto, parking, and on for your headlights and fog lights. And you have power shifters behind the steering wheel as well. The, the uh, steering wheel is actually leather wrapped and it's perforated on the outside, so it feels good to the hand. Red stitch because black sport, of course. A little piano black in the, in the middle. On the right side, you do have some of your cruise control features. So you have main, cancel, resume set. The, the uh, black edition will come standard with heated steering wheel. So that's a nice touch to have now. You have your adaptive cruise control distance there and your lane keep assist on and off there. And on the right, uh, wipers, you have off, intermediate, low and high. You don't have no rain sensing windshield wipers. So now you have the scroll wheel because they control the screen over here. So I'm gonna actually hit home and show you guys, let me zoom in there. Uh, there we go. So you have range in fuel, speed and time. The temperature gauge is built into the tachometer and I don't think I've seen that in any other Honda. That's actually a cool touch because usually the temperature gauge is on the outside or there's no gauge at all. You have your audio, phone, navigation because Black Edition does have built-in navigation. All-wheel drive torque distribution, maintenance, tire pressure, you have nothing, brightness, gauge display. So here you can remove what you don't want to view on the list, warnings, range and fuel. So I'm gonna leave it on range and fuel, which will show you your range to empty. And like I say, the middle the speedometer there, what mode you're in the middle, how many miles, outside temperature, gear you in, and how much gas you have in your tank. And this is a nice refresh because the ridge line was the same since 2017. Like it was overdue. Like the screen here, the screen there was just old. And speaking of the screen here, now Honda gives you a bigger nine inch display. So a lot of people complain that the screen was too small and the Pilot, but this is not a tablet style. It's still built into the dash. So everyone that hates the whole tablet style screens, you're gonna love this because this looks a little bit more, I guess not as modern because the tablet style is kind of where everyone is going towards. So bigger screen, you do have physical buttons at home, back and volume and your seat buttons are physical. Everything else is on the screen. So you have built in navigation and this guy's gonna be the same navigation that started in the Civic. But to be honest, you have Apple CarPlay Android Auto, you're probably not gonna use it. And speaking of Apple CarPlay Android Auto, it is wireless now on the Ridgeline. Ridgeline finally got wireless Apple CarPlay Android Auto. Super nice. So you have phone, FM, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, satellite radio, Bluetooth. You have your general settings, vehicle settings. Actually, let me go to vehicle settings. And it has a new menu now, which, oh look, it actually has a Ridgeline. That's actually pretty cool. Okay, I like how that looks. So here you can turn on like your auto door lock settings, unlock, 
Um, I think tailgate power locking is disabled. So you want to turn that on if when you lock the ridge line, it locks your tailgate as well. But oh, that's nice. Okay, okay, keyless access. Yeah, walkway auto lock on here too. So I like the new menu menu that they actually put on here. Kind of spice up the ridge line a little bit because the previous screen was so old. AM's back here. You have Honda Link, clock display mode. So if you're familiar with pretty much any new Honda, you're gonna be familiar with this Honda Link system. Um, it's not as new as the Accords, but it's still uh, up to date with everything else and it looks it looks beautiful I, I love how it looks how it just built in there look they even put a little little rest right here like what's that for like for your hand i like that that's different no car uh no hondas have this little ledge thing right here so right below that you have your hazards you have your climate control so it is tri-zone climate control in here so driver passenger and whoever sits in the rear will have three different temperatures you have sync on and off your modes your fan speeds ac on and off air circulation and you have on and off for the whole system, auto. And you can turn off the rear climate control if you don't want that on, and your settings. And you can lock it because there are some controls back there that if you have little kiddos, you don't have to worry about them playing with it. Right below that, you do, oh, you can't forget your front defrost and your heated side mirrors and back glass. And down below, you have a little storage unit here. I don't know what you're gonna put in there, maybe a small phone or something like that. And something that originally I never had was ventilated seats. Now you can get down the black edition, so you have heated, and ventilated at three different levels and three different levels so nice touch they change up this whole portion here on the 24 because the 23 ridge line had pretty much the previous passport um and the older pilot um dash please i don't even know what to call it but the wireless phone charger was took up the whole space and you could put one phone in there and that's it so now this is much wider much bigger and you can fit one phone for your wireless phone charger here and another phone can sit down there you have USB-C now in the ridge line. You have USB-A still in a power outlet down there. And then right below that, you have a lot of piano black, which I'm not a big fan of, but at least it's not too much. You have your cup holders here. And the ambient lighting on the black edition is red. So at nighttime, I'm gonna show you on the screen, this will light up red, that will light up red, the door handles will light up red. Um, it's not as crazy as BMW and Mercedes and Audi's ambient lighting, but it's nice that Honda gives you that. And here's your shifter here. So you still have the same nine speed automatic transmission. You don't get the new 10 speed that's in the pilot. And uh, if you're familiar with the previous version, you're gonna be familiar with this transmission. There's a push button. You have park, I'm putting reverse so you can see the back of the camera. Now the camera, this looks just like out of the Civic. So I think this is the same Civic camera where the resolution is okay. Like they took the older backup camera and put it on the bigger screen. So you can definitely see that. But you have a wide angle. You have normal and you have top down and you have cross traffic on and off and you can make it uh halfway you can see the radar around the ridge line and have your backup camera as well put that guy back into park you have no true you have drive if you hit drive again it'll put it into a sport mode it'll put transmission into a sport mode where it'll shift at higher rpms having more spirited driving and um who cares about gas mileage right below that you have your um pretty much your uh, all-wheel drive system. So if you push that, it will actually change here. So you have normal, snow, mud, and sand, which you had in the previous generation. Well, the 23 Ridge line, it's still the same generation. And then you have your engine auto stop uh, button here. You can turn that off from here. This is also new on the Ridge line. Instead of having the little armrest from the 23s, they went with the Pilot and now the Passport and now the Ridge line with the bigger um, armrest here. It's, it's actually a soft touch and red stitch and you open it up there's a huge cubby in there there's no connections or anything down there just a, a rubber mat but real nice feels good on your on your um elbow and over here you do have your glove box that is lockable and it is not damp interesting okay not damped here you can uh lock the trunk lock in here if you wanted to but it's not line eater not damp it flies right out you would have thought that they would at least have it damped more of that piano black going across the dash there. And right above here, you do have your uh, rear view mirror and it is auto dimming rear view mirror. So you don't have to add as an accessory like the CRVs. Actually no, CRVs have auto dimming, they just don't have a home link. But you have auto dimming and you have home link built in. So home link, you don't have to add as an accessory like other Hondas. And above that, you do have your lighting and LED, which is nice. And then you do have your sunglass holder. And on the Pilots, this is a Hutu that Cheeto mirror, but I guess they don't have it on the ridge line at all and you have some controls up here which control your moon roof moon roof and your back glass 
So if you hit this guy, you open it, you can open up that glass back there, which is nice. And then you do have a moonroof, which I believe is standard on all the trim levels about the Sport. Sport should be the only one without a moonroof. You get RTL and up, you get a moonroof, no panoramic moonroof though. So you have that guy, close that up. And your headliner is black. I mean, I would assume so in the black edition. Black headliner, because Honda like to have the gray one. And you do have a mirror with no LEDs, but you do have regular bulbs on the visors. And I think it's the same on the passenger side. Yes, it is. All right, so we're gonna jump out of here. Let's get into the back seat. And there's some new goodies going on back there. So let me show you guys. Take a look at the door panel over here. Now this is hard touch, which hard touch, which I thought so. This is soft touch. You have a storage here. It's like a phone holder. That's actually cool. Phone holder, some type of holder. You have a cup holder and no storage down there, which is speaker. And the design of the front seats follow in the rear. It just don't say black edition on the seat, but red stitching, perforated in the middle and it's red. And you can fold the seats up, but the seats folded up, plenty of room down there. And there's storage underneath the seat too. So if I drop this back down, you can see you can have storage underneath. So you can have a lot of goodies if you want to, but the front seats don't fold down forward. It just comes up. So I'm gonna jump back here. And I do have my seat kind of back. So you can see my knees is pretty close to the front seat, but that's what the seat's really, really back. Um, this class, to be honest, of uh, pickup trucks, like the, the compact size, the compact size pickup, the, in this class of truck, you usually don't have no room back here, but the Ridgeline is one of the roomiest back seats you can have. Even the seats up front is one of the roomiest you can have out of the Tacoma, the Frontier, the Canyons. Um, it's actually really nice back here. So you, you have one map pocket behind the driver and you have another behind the passenger and you do have controls back here and you do have heated rear seats. That's something everyone complained about uh, not having on a previous Ridgeline. So Black Edition will give you heated rear seats in three different levels and it's on the seats on the outside, which is nice. Air vents back here. And then you do have your climate control back here and you can lock this. I was telling you about earlier, that way your kids don't you know, start messing with this. You have a power outlet back here, and then you have two USB-Cs. So USB-Cs back here, faster charging, and that's a nice touch to have on the black edition. You do have your armrest. Let me grab this thing, there we go. And cup holder, storage, and soft to be an armrest, which is nice. You do have the lighting back here. Let's not even mess with that. And then you have some lighting back here. Show you guys the cockpit again so i knew that the 24 was going to have some minor changes before the huge refresh i didn't think that honda was going to add this much goodies especially on the black edition so heated back seats you have the cooling front seats a lot of goodies that they they threw in here try to show you guys the window sticker um it is tinted from factory the back windows are tinted so it's really hard to see, but you can see, no, I don't think you guys are gonna be able to see. Able to change the view so I can show you guys the window sticker. So there we go, 24 Ridgeline, all wheel drive black edition, platinum uh, white pearl, black interior. You see 455 for platinum white pearl, 46,350 is the base price and your destination handling, 1395. 48,200 is your MSRP for a black edition. There we go, 24 Ridgeline, all wheel drive, black edition. You can see platinum um, white pearl with the black interior. And uh, really hard to see, but you guys are gonna have to take my word for it. I'm gonna read it all for you. So for platinum white pearl, it's 455 more. And with destination handling, this one is 48,200 MSRP. But we're gonna go to the brochure and then I'm gonna build one up and show you guys pricing as well. 2024 Ridgelines are finally here so we're gonna jump right to the black edition um like i told you guys sports based model then you go to rtl then you go to trail sport which replaced the rtle and then you have the black edition so the black edition is going to give you the black perforated leather with the red stitching ventilated front seat so that's a big deal if you need that a black edition is the only way to go heated front and rear seats which is i think the rear heated rear seats is only on a black edition it's standard heated steering wheel LED daytime running lights. You have the 18 inch Berlina black alloy wheels, body code parking sensor. So these are most of the stuff that I figured a top of line would have. 
power folding mirrors you get the built-in navigation system you have the eight speaker 540 watt system which is a very great system remember the uh playing music out loud on your bed that's gone and you do have let me see wireless phone charger usb c power outlet courtesy light red ambient led lighting where is that okay okay so we're gonna jump in into building one so here's your four trim levels here and just from looking at it, you can see the wheel on this and the wheel on this and the wheel on this, all four different wheels or these two probably the same wheel just a different color but they switch it up so we're gonna jump in we're gonna build a black edition all wheel drive is the only option the black edition only comes in four colors you have black you have platinum white pearl radiant red two and you have sonic green pearl and they all 455 more it don't make sense to look at the interior colors because the interior color look how red it is on the website and then you see them person it's not even that red but the dealership will have these in stock so check your local dealership look at the wheels so you have the hbd wheels you can add on all right okay and then you have some packages so these are the ppo packages there's a lot rugged utility protection package remember splash guards wheel locks wow so we're definitely gonna have to come back here and go into detail with these because they look pretty cool so you got that and then on accessories certain things you can add let me see on the actually let me go to electronics see what you can add welcome side lights and an engine block uh, heater okay and we have all season floor mats utility hooks in bed trink cargo tray i like this I actually might get that you have, they have the carpet version to it too but yeah pretty much you have plenty of options to choose from when you do our order so if the msrp look different it may have a um a ppo package or maybe the dealership is marking up who knows but little things you can do here so you have the motorcycle extender you can make this black which is cool put decals oil pan mud flap okay it's ready to go outdoors the hpd front grill and scroll and do everything right now everything looks pretty simple self-explanatory so nothing pretty crazy i'm gonna go back to the design so i have black white red and blue so let me break down the pricing so we did white base price is 46 30 50 black and white pearl 455 more destination and handling is at 1395 you're looking at 48 to 100 100 i was trying to say i try to say hundo and hundred at the same time but um yeah, super simple layout. If you're familiar with the previous ridge line and feature wise, you know what this has. Um, I mean, minus the new things that you add on here now, but definitely drop a comment below what you guys think about the black edition. Um, I do have a RTL video coming right behind this one as well. We got to jump on a base model and an RT and a trail sport as well. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Drop a below. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Are you feeling it? Let me let me know. I will catch you guys in the next video.